fucking... <laughs> fucking start, dude. You can do it, I believe, OBS. Maybe put Steam running it. Steam is running as well. Um, so, what the fuck is this? Just how my sweatshirt looks. I don't know. So, um, hello everybody. Um, uh, my <laughs> master of 21 here. I'm so used to, um, are you master 21? But again, I changed it for people who don't know because I didn't want to get, um, copyright striked or um, get a cease and desist from Nintendo. So, um, I changed it. Um, so, hi, hello. Um, so, I will be possibly doing two reviews. Well, I will. This week, okay, and then next week. So, there will be two reviews. Um, this one is about a movie. No shit, and so is the next one. So, I would say... suggest watching the first one i mean you don't have to but i would um it's by illumination which made me think that it's gonna be like filled with like um just cash grabby stuff i mean like there's a bunch of good songs in it um Gunter is now becoming a main character instead of, like, a silly gag side character. Um, my dad, um, made the connection that, um, the pig, or Gunter, kind of sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, um, and I thought that was funny because it was kind of true. Um... But, I don't know. The movie was good. And that's the thing. Um, with some of my reviews that I do, is that the movies that I watch are good. They just don't come out as the same beat as some of them, as some of the other ones do. So, I'm gonna just spoil it right out. The movie is eh. Um. The main premise is like, um, oh yeah, Buster is gonna fulfill his dream and play in the big city. And, of course, there's this big corporation guy who tries to kill Buster, and blah blah blah, and blee blah blue, and it's so predictable, cause Illumination, Disney, and Pixar have done it a million times, and it's like, oh my god, please stop, cause you've done this a million times, and my mom actually genuinely thought that Illumination didn't make movies anymore, and I thank her for that. Because Illumination needs to fucking just pack it up. Because no one wants the minions anymore. Because you know what? The minions only get used by Facebook moms for memes and uh, cringe. So you know. And sometimes clickbait for small children. 
but I think even the small children have grown tired of the yellow, the little yellow Viagra pills. I don't fucking know. But they're always in the beginning of the movie, um, of every Illumination movie now, and it's just like, just fucking stop. You know, like, come on, dude. Um, like, Illumination has made good movies. Has. They are very rare when they make good movies. But, in the past, they have just been absolute shit. They're bad. They're just... Ah! Oh yeah, by the way, Disney just bought Blue, bought Blue Sky Animations because uh, they uh, ran out of business, so they bought all of their movies. So, um, if you want to watch some Blue Sky, go to Disney. There you go. Watch some Ice Age. Clean your sins. I'm just kidding. Ice Age kind of sucks, except for the first one. And maybe Continental Drift. Because I like both of those. Actually, I like all the Ice Age. Ice Age is actually kind of good. Not gonna lie. Maybe Collision Course is a little bad, but we won't get too much into that. I mean, I like... I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Continental Drift, because it introduces Granny, the best fucking character. Maybe a future review series reviewing all the Ice Ages. Probably not, because I'll forget. Yay! <laughs> so, anywho, um, Sing 2 is a movie that kind of didn't desire. Um, well, so Sing really didn't need a sequel, they gave it a sequel. It was one of those movies that, like, it did leave off on a good note. But the sequel wasn't quite needed enough. I feel like they should have just left it, like, at a cliffhanger or something like that. That way it could have been a, um... You know, a coming back story. Like, how Buster lost the theater and stuff like that. But, like, and. They try to get it back by... Oh, that's like... Sorry. Uh, sorry. We were experiencing lag. Um, so yeah. I feel like they should have just left it at a cliffhanger where, like, Buster loses the theater and, um, goes to his father's, like, grave or something. And he says sorry to him. No. And, like, the movie ends. Like, a nice little heartfelt story. And then Sing 2 comes back, and it, like, kind of plays out how the second half of the movie plays out. But it's, like, you know, better. But, you know, Sing 2, or Sing in general, didn't need a sequel. But they gave it one, and it was kind of good. Desired a little bit. Not too much as you might think from an Illumination movie. Um. I mean, I liked how Johnny's dad made an appearance. Um, I was hoping he would. Um. I kind of predicted that he would make an appearance. Um. Because, um, if you don't know, spoilers for the first movie and also this movie, Johnny's dad gets arrested for robbing a bank, so, yeah. 
and they're doing like community service. Oh fucking no! So they do that. So yeah. Um, also, their truck kind of reminds me of Trevor's truck from GTA Five. Um, just. Just as a by the way, it will remind you of Trevor's truck from GTA. Um, it just looks weird and kind of like it. So, um, yeah. You know. I don't know. It could have been better. It could have been worse. And that really is my thing final thought on the movie it could have been better it could have been worse but it was just in the middle it didn't quite need a sequel but they gave it one and the sequel yes better or worse depending on how you stand from the first movie i don't know like it again it could have been better it could have been worse it could have been bad it could have been better than it was I liked it for some of the beats that it did give me. Um, it Again, it could have been better. It could have been worse. It could have been absolute garbage and just been, you know, haha -ha poop humor. Um, I mean, there is one kind of like cock joke. Um, there's head rule. Um, there are some songs that I like. A lot of the songs um, are for... Targeted, I feel like, more through teenage, teenage audience, so, you know, um, there is a song called Head Will, Heads Will Roll, and that introduces the pine quill chick, um, and it's by the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, if you haven't heard Heads Will Roll, it's a good song. By the yeah, yeah, yeahs. Um, and what they do in the movie is it's actually really funny because Pink Will Chick is like, heads will roll, heads will roll. And like the audience is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, haha, that's pretty funny. That is the only move, that is the only moment that I genuinely laughed during it. Buster almost dying, that was pretty good. Um, twice. Um, there is a villain, even though the movie didn't need a villain. Um, like, I liked Sing One for not having a villain. It worked good. Good without a villain. If you added a villain to sing one, I feel like I mean I guess there is a villain. Uh, the bank, I guess, but there really isn't a villain per se. There is real no villain in Sing because it really didn't need one. I mean, unless you count the bears for, um, Mike the mouse, um, if you count his sea story and the bears as a villain, which I guess you could call, yeah, they are technically villains, but they're only for that C plot with Mike, and they never show up in the movie again. And, uh, yeah, it could have been better, so, you know. Um, with this movie, Sing 2 actually has a villain. It really didn't need one. I mean, eh. I feel like the story would have been even worse without one. I mean, like, if you wrote out the villain, it probably would have been bad. It probably would have been better. I don't know. See, like, that's the thing. If, also, by the way, Mike the Mouse, played by Seth MacFarlane, does not make an appearance, and it made me mad, because Mike the Mouse was my favorite character in the first movie, 
because I like Seth MacFarlane, and because I like Family Guy, and god damn it, they wrote Mike out of the goddamn script, and I want to punch the directors of Sing for not including Seth MacFarlane. You've got to be kidding me. My favorite character was cut out of the movie entirely. I mean, I guess if you actually uh, look on the IMDb page, or... Yeah, if you look on the IMDb page, um, it says that, like, Seth MacFarlane is actually in the movie, but he's not. Seth MacFarlane is not in the movie whatsoever, and it pisses me off. Seth Ma it says on the IMDb page that he is, but if you look in the cast, he's not. Um, so, that kind of pisses me off. But, you know... Whatever. But anywho, that's pretty much my final thoughts on the movie. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, also, don't forget to check out my Twitter and Twitch down in the description.